Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo Switch, Wii U, 3DS, and more. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo 3DS emulation on PC and Android with Mikage. And this is an update you might not be expecting. Now, it's absolutely no secret that Nintendo plans to discontinue the eShop for the Wii U and 3DS by the end of March. However, today Mikage announced they're releasing Save Shop, a tool for creating your own personal eShop archives. Now, it is worth pointing out that Save Shop is not designed to download games. It's designed to download metadata. Hello. You got a lot to say, eh? I'll put you down. So as I was saying, Save Shop is... And she wants to be picked back up again. Anyway, Save Shop is a scraper. It's not designed to download games. It's designed to download metadata and media files. If you are curious about this one, Save Shop is currently a proof of concept, but it is free. It's open source. It's on GitHub. And I'll drop a link in the description below. But moving on, and next up, we're talking about Wii U emulation on Android with CMU. And I've got some good news and some bad news. For the good news, and don't get too excited here, a CMU developer was messing around and was able to get CMU booting on Android. While this is amazing, there's still a ton of work to do, and that gets into the bad news. To boot this up, they were using an interpreter which requires a ton of CPU processing power. And to get games running smoothly, well, we don't have that CPU processing power available on Android devices just yet. Not for a number of years. It's going to be a while before we'd see CMU running smoothly on Android in its current state. And in terms of developing something like a recompiler, nothing exists yet, so they'd have to develop it from scratch. Which also takes a ton of time. So don't expect Wii U emulation on Android in any time in the near future, really it's probably going to be a number of years if it even comes out. The developer really isn't actively developing this, they were just messing around. So for those of you who may be curious, here is Shovel Knight up and running on Android using CMU between 14 to 20 frames per second. While this is amazing, at the same time, it's not realistic to expect this to release anytime soon, if at all. And speaking about releases, next up we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline, and Skyline's got a few new releases. If you head to skyline-emu.one and click on download, you might find a new build. There were a number of different builds released today, and at the time of filming, version 1951 is the latest release. On top of that, the paid testing early access version of Skyline also got a brand new update, version 40 just released. Someone is incredibly excited that Senren Kangura Peach Ball is finally working. If you're wondering if Skyline can run Crisis, yes, yes it can. Someone has Crisis 2 up and running between 10 to 15 frames per second in closed areas. Red Faction Gorilla Remastered is up and running and looking good. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is up and running and also looking good, although with some audio issues. Someone's got Diablo 3 up and running at 60 frames per second. When this person isn't screen recording, they're getting a solid 60 frames per second playing Bowser's Fury. Here's Diablo 3 up and running on a Mali GPU, and this, in my opinion, is very impressive. In fact, someone got Dark Souls to boot using Mali alley, not playable, but booting. While games aren't running perfectly, and some of them do have some issues, these are some massive steps forward for Skyline. And fun fact here, these were just some of the games that were showcased. If you wanted to see even more in action, I'll drop a link to the Skyline Discord in the description below, and I do recommend checking it out. It's a great community with a lot of great people and highly entertaining. Next up, I've got a couple of quick updates for you about PS4 emulation, and we'll start out with that PS4. Someone appears to be implementing SDL2 input for game controllers. At a high level, this means more support for more game controllers. If you wanted to check this out, I'll drop a link to the Discord in the description below. Feel free to check it out. In addition to that, Obliteration, another PS4 emulator, has been getting a ton of updates in the background. It appears that the Obliteration firmware wizard now has a way to pull firmware off your jailbroken PS4. If you are curious about this one, I'll drop a link to the Obliteration GitHub in the description below, and feel free to check it out. Moving on, and we're talking about the INEO 2, and The Verge published an article today that is arguably damning to the INEO 2. It's titled, I wouldn't trade my $400 Steam Deck for this $1300 INEO 2. At a high level here, some of the issues the reviewer had surrounded battery life and also software compatibility. They had a lot of bugs and glitches. 
at $1,300, over three times the price of a Steam Deck, the base Steam Deck at least, you'd expect a little bit more out of the Aya Neo 2. Moving on, and this is a quick fun one. Someone made a 3D printed floppy disk or save icon for you youngsters out there with a touch screen that doesn't work as a floppy disk, but works as a storage device. I think this is pretty cool. Next up, we're talking about Moon Game Studios, the company behind Ori and the Blind Forest and also Ori and the Will of the Wisps. They're making a brand new RPG and the creative director, Thomas Mahler, I think that's how you say his name, uh, says the next project is going to be a make or break moment for the studios. So if this new game flops, I guess that's it for Moon. Next up, we're talking about Ubuntu, and this announcement really didn't need to be an announcement, but here we are. Today, Ubuntu announced that they're no longer supporting flat packs moving forward in pretty much all of their distributions. This being Linux, you can just add Flatpak support in yourself. It's not really a big deal. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.